Hey guys. So, with the engine, I've never got the engine in Sprocket at all. Especially with transmission and all that stuff. I'm not a very car person type of dude. So, some people have trouble... Ignore that, that was a fake Discord notification. Um, trouble editing the engine. So, you look at the engine, this new Spranken new engine, right? The guy would be simple, just increase the size. Max. Oh, wait a second. It doesn't fit. Does it? So, the basics of the engine creation is still there, but it's changed a little bit. So, for example, right? I just edited it, this, and I've got a red error drive shaft obstructed. So, the engine is still the engine, but how the engine delivers the power is what has changed. So, the entire spinny process of this goes into this shaft. It di d um, divides it into two, basically the power, and shares it in these two axles, which is the sprockets. The sprockets are the one that turn your actual tracks. They give you movement. So, if you want to edit, say, the length of your entire track um, tank, it'll eventually say out of range, right? What is out of range? I don't know. Do you know? It is the actual drive shaft. It can't go all the way and magically deliver the power to this sprocket back here. It's attached to nothing, basically. So, what we need to do, deselect everything, drag the junction back here. But, because it's not mirror, it's best practice to select both of them at once, right? And then move it back. Eventually, it will be in range again. It can be pretty far away from it because it's not going to be precise, but let's put it all the way back here inside the tank so it doesn't look bad. And it works, right? But if you want to like have more customization, you can also adjust the actual junction move it back here. That doesn't work. You also have to move these two transmissions, right? These transmissions, oh, hang on, that doesn't work. Why can't I do that? That's silly. I'm just gonna... Can I mirror the movement? Yeah, I can. So I just activated the symmetry button before moving it, and then it moves both of them at the same time. All right, so there we go. We've made a long tank. Why do you need this long tank? I don't know, but there we go. You notice at the top left, we've got one liter of fuel to use. That's not a lot, we just ran through a tenth of it. Right? So, engines need fuel. You have to go to powertrain and then fuel tanks add it. You can add these cylinder ones from the inside, or these, these big customizable ones that are square. I like these ones because. You can put it between your two drive shafts, and then, boom, you got a ton of fuel. We got two tons of fuel, alright? That's a lot of fuel. That's going to last us a long time. That's why we needed this long tank, alright? Um, transmissions are another beast. Um, this goes into the efficiency of the engine itself, so I think that's for another video. Have a lovely day.